Hey guys, Jeff Lewis from Lewis Physical Therapy and Sports Rehab in Point Pleasant, New Jersey here. I want to talk to you guys today about one of the more common medial elbow injuries I see in pitchers outside of UCL or Tommy John, and that is ulnar neuritis. So your ulnar nerve, what is it? Your ulnar nerve is one of your main nerves that come out from the neck, travels down the arm, and then it travels right behind this little groove behind your elbow here. So if you have your elbow out in front here, even bent, and you find that bump on the inside part of your elbow, if you just drop off behind it in this little groove here, that is where your ulnar nerve sits. And a lot of times this ulnar nerve becomes an issue is when guys get irritated in that nerve. And that is usually, that's almost always due to the throwing motion. So whether it's getting into layback here, that's typically the position where you're going to get the most valgus stress on your elbow. And as a result, you get the most traction and pulling on that nerve. So how do you know if you have ulnar neuritis? There's a wide variety of symptoms that go, with ulnar, go along with ulnar neuritis. Not every one person presents the same, but some of the common, most common symptoms are some type of numbness, tingling, or pain radiating down from the inside part of that elbow down to the fourth and fifth fingers. For the ulnar nerve, it is only going to affect these fourth and fifth fingers because that is the sen those are the fingers that that nerve, uh, that nerve supplies sensation to. In more advanced cases, you'll start to notice some cold intolerance. You will also start to see some atrophy along this inner part of the hand here or just overall lack of strength, especially grip strength or just finger strength like this. That's again, that's more common in the advanced stages of ulnar neuritis. In a, another subset of ulnar neuritis, you can have a nerve that is subluxing or dislocating out of that groove. So what this looks like is anytime you have someone go and bend their elbow up like this, you might see that nerve pop over that medial epicondyle, that bump here. So again, you can even feel in cases where it's subluxing, subluxing you put your finger on that nerve, and as they're bending their elbow towards the end here, you're going to see that nerve pop out like that. Now, traditionally from a treatment standpoint with ulnar neuritis, usually guys will respond to, in cases where that nerve is not moving, guys will typically respond well to some type of anti-inflammatory, um, some type of anti-inflammatory rest, and then gradually build them back up to throwing. In my experience, for guys that have that nerve that is moving in that groove, and certainly if it's dislocating over it, conservative treatment does tip, typically does not bode well. Because even if you get that nerve to calm down, once you get back in the throwing, that nerve starts snapping around there. You're just going to add more irritation and irritation and irritation onto that nerve. So in cases like that, typically what will happen is guys will get what's called an ulnar nerve, an ulnar nerve transposition, decompression and transposition. So with that surgery, they essentially decompress the area where the nerve sits. Then they move it to the front of that medial epicondyle. And they'll use the sling from that flexor pronata fascia to adhere it down there. And once that's done, you know, once they move that nerve, that nerve is not going to pop forward, pop forward anymore because it's in a different location. And there's some other rehab considerations with guys that get their nerve moved. Like you want to be very, I mean, you really, I don't even just want to be very gentle. You probably just want to avoid any aggressive soft tissue to right there because that's right where that nerve lives and you don't want, you don't want to, you know, essentially you don't want to piss that nerve off. So that is a general overview of ulnar neuritis. The rehab principles stay the same, like for all of our other shoulder, elbow, arm injuries that have significant time down of you're going to have some period of being shut down. Then you get to your general rehab exercises, some strength training, medicine ball work, and then a graduated interval flat ground throw progression going from flat ground to the mound, live BPs, and games. So if you're a pitcher, you're dealing with some of the symptoms of ulnaritis that I talked about before, or you're just dealing with any type of elbow pain, you're not sure what the next best step is for you, Go ahead and leave some questions down below, like and subscribe our channel, and check out some of our free resources that we have specific for baseball and throwing athletes down below.